tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7. So, if you want to get back into Forza 7, get back on my wheel rig with my Logitech G920 Energy Innovations wheel, hydraulic cam brakes, sequential shifter. So, we are here. We're just going to throw ourselves right into it. We're going to throw ourselves into a public drift hopper. Probably do one or two events here in our GT350R with a livery that is currently being made. It's not a complete livery, but we are here to. Uh, throw ourselves back into Forza 7, get ourselves back on the wheel setup because we haven't been on the wheel setup in a while. Uh, we are going to, you know, have a sip from our uh, custom TE Team Evil Rabbit Pilsner glass. So, like I said, we're just going to throw ourselves into it. We're going to see how well we can do. Uh, I'm not looking for a, a win today since we haven't been on the wheel setup in a pretty long time. Um, it's been a been a few weeks so we are going to try and get ourselves acclimated back in the wheel setup with our energy innovations wheel hydraulic handbrake energy innovations inner energy innovations bucket seats so they got 22 seconds in this lobby and then we're going to get selected for our next lobby so i'll let you guys know once we get on track and i'll meet you guys back when we uh basically throw ourselves to the dogs and see how we can do so what better way to get our feet wet back in uh forza motorsport 7 than at maple valley short in the rain it was definitely not looking for a rain circuit but we'll take what we can get we are going to try and get as many points as we can while it is dry before the rain actually hits so like i said i hope you guys are enjoying all the content on the channel big thank you to all the new subscribers we'll be bringing more torque drift beta content as well to the channel might be doing two uploads with torque drift in the evening and my normal forza content or any other racing content on the sim rig during the day so definitely want to get back onto the sim rig haven't been on it for a while it's you know been sitting i've been busy doing a lot of other stuff so torque drift was actually uh easy content for me to bring out to you guys because of the fact that it's on the mobile i don't have to get everything all set up it's a little bit easier just to record it and uh it's a lot less taxing than uh being on the full wheel setup so we are here at maple valley short in the rain we're going to try and get as much points as we can here on this car in the rain we're going to be getting our feet wet back on our sim rig after a couple of weeks and uh back on forza motorsport 7 hopefully this uh gt350r is going to be able to handle the rain as good as i hope because uh well i probably should have switched to the miata or the rx7 or one of the other cars that are a little bit less powerful but we're gonna send it we're gonna go for it we're gonna see what happens and uh hopefully we're not all the way in the back which we are looks like we got ryan turk's uh gt86 over there Okay, I don't understand why that guy went backwards, but So hopefully we can still get some points in here Throw it in Maple Valley is definitely a track I'm very comfortable on and it's not raining yet as long as I stay away from other cars because this is not a ghost lobby. This is Torture to myself. I want to just throw myself right into it into a full pup, you mother. And that's how we lose all our points. <laughs> Welcome back to Forza. <laughs> it wouldn't be a public hopper if somebody didn't just take all your points away from that entire first lap because they don't know how to use their brakes. It's the curse of a public hopper, and now I'm all kinds of out of my element. I need to get back focused. Then there's that guy. It's a sad part about public hoppers. That's why they did create the ghost hopper, which I probably should have done, but I didn't think 
it would be that bad. So definitely uh, getting our feet wet back because we're some 20,000 points behind because lap one decided to get uh, tagged by somebody who could have hit the brakes probably, but um, said they decided to go into me. But you know what? Welcome back to Forza, everybody. See, I'm not gonna try and be that guy. My wheel is all over the place today because I'm not as composed or poised right now being off the wheel for a little bit of time. Yeah, we were gonna save that. Wish I could find that 8.6 because if he's uh, higher than me, I'm definitely gonna wanna what, what's the word I'm looking for? Return the favor? And this is why I try to stay off of online sessions because of that. But, you know, recently, uh, it's been hard to get some of my uh, teammates and friends online to get some drift sessions. So, probably going to be doing some open lobbies for subscribers to, uh, Get some new faces on the channel sideways with me. And yep. So, Forza Online Hoppers. Gotta love them. Because if you don't love them, you wouldn't drive them. See, I'm gonna be nice to stay, stay off that man's door. I could've hit him. Oh, I'm sorry. See, this is where I should be. Nice and poised on the long turn. On the brake, a little bit closer to the rumble strip than I wanted to. But, uh. Hopefully, this guy doesn't hit me. He shouldn't. It's a very slow bank turn. I mean, we just cracked our tail light just a tap and we didn't lose our points. I'll take that. There we go. Now we're getting back into the rhythm of this. I should have clutch kicked that sooner. Getting a little braver now. Probably should bank those before I kick it in here, but we're not going to. So I'm hoping I don't get hit. We just kicked ourselves up in the seventh, so. I didn't want to overshoot that turn. And bank 26 large. Whew. So, throwing myself into the fire right away, into the teeth and talons of Forza Public Hoppers. Little, some little clutch kick pops. There we go. Yep, definitely getting back into the normal poised control that I'm used to. Now 
That was a really weird entry, but we took it. Break transition. Throw transition, there we go. So, not entirely bad. Could have been a whole lot worse. We are currently seventh. Could have been a whole lot worse if that guy was not a ghost. That would have just been a straight, like, we would have been dead instantly. Don't come up, don't come up, don't come up. Oh boy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bail from that one for a second. Because that could have been a very big loss of points if he would have came up into me. And I don't trust his line right now. Enough to uh, tag his door. Really? He was still ghosted. How did he... Oh, well, get wrecked. It's only 16 seconds left, so... We're gonna see what the next track is and see maybe about running the next track. Getting our feet back here in Forza Motorsport 7. And going straight to the gusto. On a public hopper. Seventh place. Not too bad. Could have been a whole lot worse. Matt Fields taking top spot. It'd be funny if that was actually Matt Fields. That'd be sweet. Getting all of our uh, points up there. Let's see where we're going to go next. Road America. I can't tell you the last time I drifted Road America. Well, we'll start it off, see how it goes, and if it uh, starts turning into shambles, we'll probably uh, end it there. So like I said, definitely getting back on my wheel set up from a little bit of a hiatus. Um, just been a lot of crazy things going on recently, you know, with work and wedding planning and a bunch of other stuff like that. So just been a little bit busy. So now we are back to the normal daily grind on the on the wheel set up, be doing some open lobbies and stuff here, some live streaming and some long recordings here in the near future. All right, Road America. Can't tell you the last time I drifted here, so this definitely could be interesting. We gotta get through the cluster of people in the beginning, not wanting to uh, drift. Oh boy, stay away from all the crashing cars. So we don't get points there. I know we will get points here, but. Those points start very late. Oh boy. I see another uh, Mustang right there. We get as many points as we can. Looks like we are out of the headaches of the cars behind us, but there's a lot of cars behind us. And uh, could turn bad real quick. Trying to just get as many points as we can when we can. Oh boy. So that guy's uh in second and with reason he's throwing some nasty angle in that Corvette here is the biggest points gain section I feel of the track in the fourth oh boy and see I tried not to hit him and I ended up losing all my points see I tried to be nice and look what happens I end up uh, screwing myself out of my points. We got a bunch of people behind us though, so... It's 
funny that these points don't even start there. It's one thing I hope they fix in a, the later Forzas is the ability to get points at all sections of the track. I mean, we should be able to manji down the straight and get points, you would think, personally. But, you know, they only have certain spots where they start, which I think is kind of dumb in a sense, but, you know, maybe there's a methodology to that that we don't know. So, Road Atlanta, Road America, sorry, not going as well as I anticipated. Well, actually, I didn't really anticipate Road America to go that good because I uh, can't tell you the last time I've actually drifted this track. I think I've only drifted on this track twice. And this is the second time, so. Well, that guy's probably ticked that he just got shoved off track and lost all his points. So, as you guys know, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. Once again, if you are not a subscriber, please tap that subscribe button button and bell notifications if you want to be the first to get those notifications for the videos as they upload. We will be bringing more Torque Drift Beta content to the channel, so don't think I've just decided to not. It will bring more as well as more Torque Drift when the game actually comes out, which according to devs should be September, October, hopefully, depending on how the beta goes and the soft release goes. So, until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. That guy probably got so scared. I'm out.